Hello everyone, and today I'm going to show you how to get started in Grounded. In this tutorial, we'll be covering everything you need to know to hit the ground running. Ah! From the basics of crafting and resource gathering to mastering the art of bug smashing like a true Olympian. And also, I'll sprinkle in a few tips and tricks to kickstart your journey into the story mode so you can uncover the mysteries lurking behind those very tall grass blades. Now, the essential first three things you're going to pick up is you're going to want to grab yourself some fiber, grab yourself a sprig, and then grab yourself a rock, and then go grab a whole bunch more. You're going to need these to craft all the weapons, and then make sure you grab some sap. You're also going to want some sap early on because you're going to need that to build a torch, and one of the first things you'll be doing in the story is venturing into a spooky dark cave. And the first sustenance you'll find is some mushrooms. Eat those disgusting-looking things just to get by for now. Don't worry. As soon as you do that, then we're going to work on the art of smashing bugs. That's right. You see that avocado-looking thing right there? Smash it, and boom, it explodes like guacamole. All right, then you want to hand over to the resource analyzer here. Grab a couple of old crunchy bars, look at a weird dossier, and nobody has time to read that, and figure out how to scan some stuff. Anything and everything you find in this game, you're going to want to scan until you match the intelligence of Einstein. And then you're going to want to craft your first tools, the pebblet, spear, and an axe. And then you want to make your way over to this giant bath scale, click the button, and realize that you need to chop down this tree so the laser works. And don't forget to chop down the bottom too so you can get that cool looking green stuff. And then, boom, you want to splatter another bug. Why? Because we're in charge. We may be small, but we want them to know who's boss. So you certainly don't want to let them run from you like this. You got to make an example of them. Get down here now, you inbred trash! And, um, somehow this guy got stuck and can float even in death. Uh -huh. Okay, then. And back to the resource analyzer as we want to scan up some more stuff, constantly increasing that power. You want to pick a fight with anything and everything you see? When possible. I tried fighting this guy, but uh, he was quick on his feet, and, uh, yep, we're not going to talk about missing that spear. We're going to focus on the ones we land. <laughs> When you find any rocks, you want to break those rocks because they will give you plenty of pebbles. Those pebbles can be used to craft a whole bunch of weapons, and you're going to want plenty of spears. Then when you see water droplets, knock them out of the tree with a rock. Make sure you do it on the first try so you don't smack yourself in the face, just like I did here. All right. Then when you see these clovers, you want to break these down immediately. The reason being is this is going to be what's used to design your first type of bed, the lean-to. This will allow you to create a resting point and a respawn point so when nighttime comes, you can hide away from those big bad spiders. Oh, hell no! Now when you want to go through and start the story, you'll make your way over to the laser that's flashing and you'll find these red mites at the base. They're going to constantly jump on you, so make some weird sounds too. Try and block as many as you can, then once you have enough stam, go through and stab them repeatedly with your spear. Then, realizing that there's a big cave, Remember, I told you, you need sap to make a torch. Oh! Make up that torch we talked about that you came so well prepared for, and venture into the deep darkness here. And then the moment you get into the cave here, you are greeted by a squad of miniature red bugs, just like the ones you found outside, but these guys have a serious case of footsies. These little critters look like they're auditioning for a roll of crab wars. They keep pinching and pinching. And then once you get to the back of the cave here, you will want to teach this wall of boulders a giant lesson in gravity by introducing it to the concept of vertical relaxation. Make your way into the back of the cave here to find some more of those weird looking light tentacles. Realize there's a bug underground that you can't get. Grab the weird thing called a scabby. That kind of sounds gross. Gross. Now, you get to witness the first cutscene of the story. This is the blast off. And that giant ominous tree in the background is where we have to go next. But before doing that, let's build ourselves a small little shelter as we are getting quite full here. So channel your inner Bob the Builder and go through and start collecting all these grass planks. Craft your workbench, craft yourself some storage containers and a lean-to so you can take a nice little nap and proceed to kill any bugs that you see just because you want them to know who's the real bug king. I am the king. Now you're going to want to chop down a dandelion here because they're going to give you the stems which you actually need to craft a couple of different building pieces. But really what we're here for is actually going to be that white fuzzy ball there on top. Now forget your typical skydiving gear here. We are talking about a bug-sized built-in fuzzball rescue system. That's right. You can hop down from anywhere in the yard and pop out one of those guys and you'll land nice and softly on your feet. And then before you set out, don't forget to cook yourself a nice couple of crunchy bugs for the road because you never can have too much roasted cricket and roasted whatever that weird weevil thing would be called. Yeah, those things. The gross-looking bugs. <laughs> And then you're going to want to head on out and start making your way towards the tree. And honestly, it's not too bad. It's a pretty straight shot. There is an occasional spider you do have to dodge if you happen to walk up at the wrong time. If not, there should not be too much that gets in your way. Now you're going to find these giant nuts when you get here, and you're going to want to go through and smash them. Wait, did I say nuts and smash? 
in the same sentence? <laughs> uh, moving on, you're gonna find a little branch here that leads up to this weird looking structure. I'm not quite sure what the fancy term for this would be called, but you'll find this flag that you need to raise. So definitely go through and do that because it's going to give you the power of beautiful- FIRE! FIRE! Oh wait, there's fire. That's right, we're here to solve a problem, not admire it. All right, go through and hop down and make your way over here and then find this really weird, strangely creepy looking sap. Oh my God! What is that? Okay, yep, smash that up too. And you can discover all the cool little landmarks like this giant can. People just litter all this stuff in their backyard? Is that a thing? Do people really just throw trash in their yard like this? Look at that. Not even just a can. They lost a whole tooth. There's a whole tooth here. Okay. And prepare to be jump scared by the fearsome ladybug. Don't worry, it won't hurt you. But if you're feeling like a god, you can try and take it on because it's too fat to fit through the doors. There's literally no way that ladybug's ever going to be able to hit you in here. It uh, is quite tanky, though, so it could take you a hot minute. Just uh, realize that you're safe as possibly can be. Maybe not. Okay, be a little bit more careful than that, and then you should be good. Hi -ya! Hi -ya! Hi -ya! All right, then. Well, don't do something stupid like that. And just continue making your way back here if you happen to do something courageous. And once you're there in the lab, I forgot. You actually have the ability to peep on creatures. Yes, you can be a peeper creeper. So every time you see a new creature, make sure you activate the peep mode so you can check out that creature and learn all its juicy little secrets. What it's weak to, what it's strong against, and what it hates. And then once you get in here, you have the ability to resource analyze some stuff again, so increase that brain power yet again whenever you can. And press the cool little green button and realize that they have this massive storage of sap, and we're going to take it all. And then grab yourself some nice quality H2O. And look at all the possible ways you could die here in the future on the screen. Yeah, those all look scary and dangerous. Let's not look at those right now. And then make your way into the next room here and meet Claptrap's long lost cousin. And I know he's related because his introduction is so long that you don't even get a chance to interact with him. He wants to give you this giant paragraph of dialogue before you even get a chance to talk to him. And no, this is not in fast mode. This is me pressing the X button as fast as I can until my fingers fall off. Speaking of fingers falling off, go take that hand of yours and place it on the screen button to become the god of the lab. You now have access to some more stuff. Speaking of access to more stuff, go through in here and you want to buy a couple of things, spend that raw science on a house upgrade and some weapon and armor upgrades. We'll talk about that stuff later. Grab yourself some more loot, say goodbye to the chef robot, and... Find that you have access to new and covered areas. Grab this purple glob or pink glob of raw science. And then I realized that I wanted to go through and build some sap collectors since we had scanned the acorn up there. However, when I went to go build it, I came to the realization that it actually needs stems and not planks. <laughs> So with that, though, I decided, uh, you know what, the blueprints still work, so we'll lay the blueprints down for now, we'll build what we can, and we'll come back at a later point in time. And then on my way home here, just trying to be all peaceful and stuff, I get attacked by this crazy-looking bug. And eventually, we were victorious, and managed to pop his head off. Then we went home and ate ourselves a tasty cricket, and we called it a day. All right, well, if you enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe to see more.